New research into last year's Fukushima nuclear accident has revealed that workers' attempts to reduce danger in fact caused a substantial radiation leak. Researchers from Tokyo University and the Japan Atomic Energy Agency examined operation records at the plant's number two reactor. They compared these with radiation data from the surrounding environment. The group examined radiation data from a monitoring post at the Fukushima Daini plant, about 10 kilometers south of the Daiichi plant. Data shows radiation spiked three times from the night of March 14th to the morning of the 15th. A uh, wind was blowing south from the Daiichi plant. At that time, workers at the number two reactor were desperately trying to cool it down. They were unable to pump water into the reactor because of extreme pressure inside caused by steam buildup. The workers decided to open safety valves to release the steam into a containment vessel around the reactor. But the researchers suspect that the reactor's fuel might have already started melting down, damaging the containment vessel and releasing radiation into the atmosphere. This would explain the high radiation levels found at the monitoring post. Each spike occurred about one hour after workers' attempts to relieve the reactor's pressure. A Japan Atomic Energy Agency senior researcher says it's serious if an operation designed to protect the reactor led to a significant radiation release. I think workers at the site had no choice but to relieve the pressure inside the reactor. The researchers say the radiation from reactor 2 was 10 to 20 times higher than other reactors which suffered hydrogen explosions. The researchers say the radiation from reactor 2 was 10 to 20 times higher than other reactors which suffered hydrogen explosions. Engineers have developed a new device to help decontaminate more than 170,000 tons of radioactive wastewater stored at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The decontamination tool now in use at the plant can only remove cesium. The new device, unveiled in Yokohama on Tuesday, can neutralize 62 types of contaminants, including strontium and cobalt. Water is placed into a stainless steel tank containing a resin that absorbs radioactive materials. Operators at Fukushima hope to test the device in early September. After filtration, the water will be kept at the plant until an alternative is found. Engineers at the Oi plant in central Japan have succeeded in getting a second reactor generating power at full capacity. The nuclear facility is the first to resume operations since last year's accident at Fukushima Daiichi. The number four reactor at OE reached its full capacity Wednesday. Plant operator Kansai Electric Power Company restarted the unit on July 18th. OE's number three reactor resumed operation earlier this month and is also running at full capacity. The two reactors have the biggest output of those run by Kansai Electric. The service area covers the country's second largest city of Osaka. <laughs> We are now able to provide enough stable electricity. This is a big relief. Power saving targets will now be lifted on the service areas of three other utilities in central and western Japan. The government gave the go-ahead for OE's restart last month, saying its safety has been confirmed. But a panel of experts is calling for a fresh survey of underground cracks at the plant to check if they are active faults. But a panel of experts is calling for a fresh survey of underground cracks at the plant to check if they are active faults. The OE nuclear plant is up and running again, but that doesn't mean there are no longer any concerns about the safety of nuclear power plants in the country. In fact, Japan's nuclear safety agency has ordered an investigation into cracks beneath two nuclear power plants on the Sea of Japan coast to determine whether they're active faults. Experts with the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency say further studies are needed on a 900-meter underground fissure that runs north-south between the number two and number three reactors at the Oi plant. They said a lack of data about the fissure led them to propose the investigation. 
The oil plant's number three reactor was only recently brought back online. The number four reactor was restarted on Wednesday night. The agency says it will not order the reactors stopped for the survey, but that the outcome could affect their operation. Tohoku Electric Power Company workers have taken part in an emergency tsunami drill. Staff at the Miyagi Prefecture plant hope to learn the lessons from last year's disaster in neighboring Fukushima. Facilitators role-play the scenario of a magnitude 9 quake and tsunami hitting the Onagawa plant. Some 150 workers practice restoring external energy sources with power trucks. At last year's accident at Fukushima Daiichi, emergency generators were lost. Without power, workers couldn't use cooling systems on overheated reactors. Onagawa workers also practice injecting water into reactors using special vehicles introduced in March. The plant's three reactors shut down automatically after last year's disaster. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore! I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore! I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore! More cooling needed after Fukushima reactor heats up. You gotta remember they gotta keep these uh, reactors below 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. Uh, declare cold shutdown and uh, due to the summertime and, and the water sources are using to cool these nuclear reactor the cool everything down the water is literally heating up so they are forced to cool the water going into the intakes to help cool down the reactors so they can still claim cold shutdown uh, cables connected to Fukushima reactor thermometers quote on the verge of breaking plant still not out of the woods of course not, after dumping uh, all that salt water, I'm sure things are starting to fall apart. Government probe, a quake may have created tiny rupture in Fukushima reactor vessel, which grew larger. So these people that couldn't get close to these reactors to inspect anything are now saying a 0.3 centimeter crack formed um, in the reactor vessel, and that explains how it could, without being detected kind of thing and then as the crack grew kind of thing and uh, just a whole big line of bullshit. Go ahead and read it if you want. Um, it's just more cover-up. Government uh, TEPCO cesium getting stirred up question mark Fukushima plant still emitting 10 million becquerels every hour for uh, over 500 days now and I'm sure those numbers are low. Kyoto News used term hot zone to describe Miyagi, Iwait, and uh, Tochigi prefectures, not just Fukushima. And uh, they're coming out with actually the, the radiation fallout uh, information. And uh, there's more stuff, of course. Da -da -da, where's that other one? Totally, uh, this one's out of TEPCO. Total estimated cesium release into the air is triple the amount published two months ago. And I'm sure it's way, way above that because they cannot hide. And all these fishermen are wondering, you know, why aren't the cesium levels starting to drop like you said they would? Um, but they continue to increase. And that is because we have three confirmed uh, nuclear reactors that have melted through containment and these big bus sized coriums are uh, burning their way through the through the crust and into the water table and leaching out into the Pacific Ocean and uh, of course Japan has a nuclear tea bag uh, that continues to kill the Pacific 
And uh, one more. There's been some people dying, young guys of some weird cancers. Uh, reports from uh, nuclear workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plants. <sighs> New York Times. Surreal serenity. Hotel owner gave me a mask and coat. Quote, radiation levels are high sometimes when it rains. But uh, bear in mind and listen to your officials. Everything's under control. Nothing to worry about here, folks. I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your chairs. I want you to get up right now and go to the window, open it, and stick your head out and yell, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to take this anymore! We'll be right back after these capitalist messages!